This peanut butter cookie dough is eggless and made exclusively for eating. Without having to bake, you will be able to be eating your sweet treat within minutes. What is up you guys, it is Carly here and you are officially cooking with Carly. Today's cookie dough that we are making is peanut butter cookie dough. I know all of you live on the edge kind of people sneak cookie dough before you bake your peanut butter cookies in the oven. Today we are just skipping the oven step altogether and making cookie dough that is safe to eat and it tastes exactly like the real thing. You will not be able to even tell the difference. Let's talk about our ingredients here. It's basically what we would use for regular peanut butter cookies, which is butter, sugars, both brown sugar and granulated sugar, peanut butter, salt, vanilla, and the two things that are slightly different here are milk and our flour. We're using milk in place of the eggs and we're using heat treated flour to cover all of our bases. You can heat treat your flour either using the oven or the microwave if you wanna use your oven. Just toast it at 350 for five to 10 minutes and with the microwave, just toss it in there for about a minute, minute and a half. Let your flour cool before making the rest of the recipe though. <laughs> to make the edible cookie dough, we are just going to make it exactly like you would make your regular cookie dough. The butter and peanut butter will go into the mixer first, mix them all together nice and creamy, and then the sugars will go in and again, mix them until nice and creamy. Let's start out with the butter and peanut butter. We have one half cup of each here. Butter going in. And peanut butter going into the mixer. And I'm using a stand mixer here, but you don't have to have a stand mixer. You can definitely use an electric hand mixer if that's what you have. My butter is softened here. I pulled it out of the fridge and just tossed it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. If you have room temperature butter, that will work also. Let's do this thing. <laughs> While this is still mixing, I'll just toss in my one quarter cup of granulated sugar and one half cup of packed brown sugar. <laughs> I'm coming in. <laughs> Usually just looks out. Oh, I'm scared. I've got to stop this. Okay. Let's continue. Now our liquids are going to go into the cookie dough. Regular cookie dough, this is where the egg will come into play, but we're not using eggs. We're substituting milk for those eggs. So one quarter cup of milk is going into the mixer as well as one teaspoon of vanilla. We'll mix this until it's nice and combined and then we'll add in our dry ingredients. Like so pretty to watch in there, like mesmerizing. Lastly, the dry ingredients go in. Two cups of heat treated flour, and then about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. We'll go in and let's mix this until it's combined and then our cookie dough is ready to eat. Before we mix this up, do me a favor if you've enjoyed this video so far, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell so you don't miss any of my magnificent recipes coming up. <laughs> and head down to those comments and let me know if you prefer the cookie dough to the actual cookie, because I think a lot of people do. I think a lot of people prefer the dough. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it. <laughs> All right, let's get mixing.
it is complete. <laughs> it's a really weird thing to say. Uh, our cookie dough is done. It's ready to eat. Can I let you in on a little secret? I actually like to put chocolate chips into my peanut butter cookie dough to make peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough and it is fabulous. So maybe divide it in half, have some peanut butter and have some peanut butter chocolate chip because it is scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> I'm going to transfer this over to a clear bowl so you can see what it looks like, what the texture should be. It should just be exactly like a regular cookie dough, nice and smooth and really tasty too. Let's talk about Let's talk about different things that you can do with your cookie dough here. You can eat it with a spoon and I definitely recommend eating it with a spoon. You can also put it on top of ice cream like chocolate ice cream would be really good with this peanut butter cookie dough or you can make it into nice little tiny bite-sized balls and then dip it in chocolate to make it like a peanut butter cookie dough truffle action. That would be delicious. For me, what I generally do is I will roll them into balls and toss them into the fridge until they get nice and chilled and then put them into a zip top bag and then store them in the fridge. You'll wanna store them in the fridge unless you are eating them. The cookie dough will last in your fridge for you know five, six, seven days if it lasts that long at all, because mine usually lasts like mm, a day if I'm lucky. <laughs> While I'm rolling these, I just wanted to remind you and let you know that I have, I think, 11 different types of cookie dough recipes on my website. So if you are ever needing a cookie dough fix, head to my website and look them up. I've got a huge variety of recipes there. I'm sure you'll be able to find one that is perfect for what you were looking for. Next time the peanut butter craving hits and you're needing a little something sweet, turn to this recipe for no bake peanut butter cookie dough. It's, it comes together in minutes and you'll be eating your peanut butter treat in no time. Eating the cookie dough. Mm, it's so like creamy and smooth. Mm. It's better than the real thing. Might never make peanut butter cookies now.